Hi, welcome to this Day in the Life series. This is a video with Rob Samuels, he's an inbound consultant here at Axon Garside. I'm Rob Samuels, I'm an inbound consultant at Axon Garside. Um, so my role here is um, essentially, uh, I guess I'm kind of at the focal point of the clients that I manage. So my role is to come up with the strategy. So I will try and understand what the business is trying to achieve um, and then come up with a series of goals at our end. And then my role really is to, to see that through, manage the team to deliver those results. Okay. So, so what does a typical day look like for you then? When you, whoa, you start at nine, what happens? Well, t typical day for me is pretty varied here, which is one of the reasons why I really love this job. Um, it, it differs so much, so one day I can be, it can be really heavy data analysis, so I can be spending all day really digging deep into HubSpot, getting under the bonnet, really trying to understand the data um, and, and what it's telling me about how the websites or, or the marketing strategies that I've put into place are working. All the days I'm, you know, sitting down with some of the guys here and we're working out um, how to, you know, kind of implement a certain thing, try and get the result we need. So sometimes I can be sitting down with our PPC expert, for example, and try to, you know, really understand what's going on with the PPC strategy. We're coming up with a new approach from one of our clients uh, at the moment, for example, using YouTube, which I've never done before, so that's new, new for me. And then, you know, later on that day, I could be sitting down with our videographer, going through video, I could be sitting down with our graphic design and going through that and SEO and, and, and conversion, there's so many different elements to the job, it's all yeah. about bringing that together really and just trying to make it work as a one cohesive unit to achieve our overall goal. Yeah, so it's, you like the novelty of the job in a way I guess, every day can be different. Yeah, I really I really do, I, I, I've always been one of those people that gets bored easily, yeah. so I like um, the fact that there's variety, that's really important to me. Yeah, so you, so you touched on like sort of technology that you use, what, what sort of technology technology do you use to get like results for, for, the, for your clients, for us, for, yeah, for everyone? Yeah. Obviously, uh, we're a HubSpot Diamond partner, Obviously. so HubSpot is at the center of everything we do really in terms of technology, but we have a wide range of things we use as well, so in terms of tools that we use on an everyday basis, um, things like Ahrefs to understand our SEO, um, obviously the Google suite of products, really useful to us, just, you know, from anything from PPC to actually sitting in front of a Google Doc or a presentation. Yeah. I suppose then what, um, a speculative sort of question, but if you could have, if you could create your own piece of tech that would do your, make your job easier, what would it be? What would this like theoretical software or package that you could just like click and make your job 10 times easier? What would that be? If it could come up with goals for me, then I could just <laughs> go home and have a, have a nice sit down. Um, in all honesty, I, I, it's a difficult one because you know the HubSpot does so much of what I needed to do, and that sounds like corporate yeah. shill mode. But honestly, it's true. It really, it really does. I've you know I've used other analytical tools before, and they just they're not as good. I've used other back end systems; they're not as good. Genuinely, it, it does what I needed to do. In all honesty, the kind of thing that I'd want most at the moment isn't tech. It's just uh, being able to come into the office every day and, and working closer with with colleagues and clients. To be completely honest, yeah. which isn't something tech can solve, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so what do you think uh, are the advantages of, say, choosing an inbound marketing agency rather than doing it in-house or um, picking like a more agile freelancer who can help you out? Well, I think, you know, the benefit of using an agency is that you get lots of different expertise. So, you know, we work with a lot of clients who do have in-house capability and, and that helps us because then we can, you know, tap into their knowledge and they can tap into ours. And, you know, working with us, obviously, I, I get to work with a broad team of people here, specialists who have lots of different skill sets. And you kind of, you know, you're able to get that level of knowledge from various pieces of the business. You know, I, I, for example, I could be working with a client and, you know, something else comes up that, that previously we've never worked on. And, you know, I can refer to someone else in house here who has that capability, yeah. and you know it's great. You can just it's there. It's a resource ready to use. So, so you'd say that? Do you think you could do your job as well if you didn't have as many experts surrounding you? I mean, I am fantastic at what I do, yeah, obviously. obviously. But <laughs> no, no, without a doubt, you know, there's such an incredible level of knowledge and expertise here. It's brilliant, brilliant resource for me to, to jump into and, and use those people to deliver what I can for the client. It's brilliant. And, and I guess as your role, you you touch with everyone, you touch base with everyone, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, my role is essentially to. You know, to, to come up with with how to achieve what the business wants to, what my clients want to, and then I facilitate that. So, you know, that means that I, on a daily basis, I'm speaking with different people up here about how to achieve that. And yeah, it's great. I get to get to work alongside loads of people with different skill sets. And what would uh, the highlight of your day be? I really like. Um, 
doing sort of end of quarter analysis and leading sessions, like for example, we do a discovery workshop session, which is quite an intense process. It's about you know, it's a good four to six hours of proper day's worth of work and I love leading that and maybe that's because I'm an egomaniac, I don't know. <laughs> I like being the centre of attention, who knows, but I love doing that sort of thing. I love having the chance to really explore data, understand what it's telling me and try and connect the dots and yeah. work out, you know, not just a narrative, but, but what that story actually tells us and what we can genuinely do to improve results as a result. And then feeding that back, back to the client, sitting in front of people and presenting that. It's genuinely, I really, really love doing that. That's cool. Yeah. What common faults do you see quite regularly with, with clients and that, that they could probably handle themselves but are routinely passed on to, to an well, agency like us? I think, honestly, um, a common thing is just a many pieces of the puzzle are there but it's just not connected so you'll get a website for the first time and you know they might have some really good ebooks there it's just they're not gated or there's no you know you can't access them they're really uh, there's no visibility of them on the site they don't have call to actions or even sites that do have those things in place like you know, they have good CTAs they have good landing pages the conversion stuff's there it's just you know the site's not making the most of it or you know they're buried somewhere you know, it's, it's just really hard to access them. Or there might be other things like in the, in the back end, you know, there's capability in HubSpot to collect, um, you know, progressive data. So, you know, you can have forms that initially asks, you know, if you first name, last name, all yeah. that stuff. And then you, you can collect more data as you go down. It's just things like that where there's these capabilities and there's this great stuff, but they're not quite connecting the dots. I think that's a common thing, I see. Yeah, okay. And do you have any more sort of common challenges that, um yeah, you see regularly. I think a good one is often clients kind of don't always have the visibility over the data that they want. So, you know, they'll be able to you know, see a, a lot of it. And even sometimes they can see, you know, HubSpot, there's just so much data. And, and if you don't have a good idea of where to start, it can be a bit overwhelming, to be honest. Yeah. You kind of go in, it's just graphs everywhere. You have dashboards and there's loads of reports. You can add custom reports and all, all sorts, you know, and it's just like, oh God, you know, there's so much there. but. Uh, so I, I think that's something that, that I see quite a lot, um, where people know that there is all this data, but they don't always know how to get the best out yeah. of it, how to interpret it properly. Um, so that's that's something that you know I, I, I enjoy doing. I guess it's part of my job that I really like. And yeah. you know, I've got, obviously we do um, as part of our process at the end of each kind of inbound quarter, we have a big sit down end of quarter meeting where you know I go through the, the, the reporting um, inside the system and kind of pull apart all those useful uh, data points and go through them but also we use um, dashboards as well and you know I'll have clients set those up and you know so they can understand what do I want to report on what are the key metrics they actually need to know I guess sometimes as well so you know I've had clients say to me that I don't know what good should look like yeah you know what what does good actually look like for me so I can you know try and help them understand that a bit and, and say right well, okay, realistically, you know, for me as a marketer, I want to see traffic increase and conversions increase, but your managing director or sales director might not care about that kind of stuff. Yeah. They're more interested in, look how many leads have we actually got from this. So it's a way to kind of present that data and understand all of that in a way that can help help them um, within their jobs, help them, help show the value of marketing, because it's not always clear as, a, as marketers, you know, what the value is of what we do. And, you know, I, if I can help to do that, then that's great. I really enjoy that. That's cool. And do you have then, do you have any top tips that you would give, I guess, either budding marketers or just companies that are in need of a bit of help in hand and a push in the right direction? I think mine would be, uh, all too often I see people planning marketing activities without a real sense of what they're trying to achieve, just at a high level. So often it's it's not because of a lack of planning or knowledge, It's if, if anything it's because there's perhaps too much and they've thought about really specific individual like umbrella goals I want to you know want to achieve this that and the other and they haven't really thought generally speaking about what the business is trying to achieve what's that one thing you're actually trying to do and you know in HubSpot speak, speak they call that a smart goal don't they where yeah. it's like I want to achieve this measurable thing within this period of time but genuinely that like, having that kind of approach it does help just strip it all back take it right back down to the, the skeleton and just say what am I actually trying to achieve here and build your activities around that because you know, and if you've got a, a smallish, well, any size budget, you're always going to have to prioritise certain activities over others. So, yeah. if when you boil it down to the, what I actually need to do, it's deliver more leads, and you look at your website and you think, well, the traffic's amazing, but we're just not converting them. 
you're wasting your time um, trying to bring traffic in with like PPC or blogs or something like that. You'd be better off spending spending the time getting some gated assets, doing some really good stuff to help convert yeah. people, or vice versa. If your problem is the other way around and your landing pages work great but no one sees them, you know, it's just about really understanding what you're trying to achieve at a core level so you can match your activities to that. And I think a lot of the time people don't always do that. Um, so that's probably my top tip. Yeah, that's a good one. There's a lot of content about that on our website as well, which is, if you want it. <laughs> um, cheers for your time, Rob, thanks for that. Yeah, cheers, thanks very much. Thanks to Rob there, it was great to hear a bit more about the life of an inbound consultant here at Axon Garside. If you'd like to know more about what happens at an inbound agency, just click the button at the end of this video.